We're here with Alex Turner. He's a design engineer at Delara. Alex, what's your most memorable Indy 500 finish? So probably the most memorable Indy 500 finish was my first 500 in 2011 when Jerry Hildebrand hit the wall in turn four on the last lap um, and finished second. Because um, we were standing, we walked right up into the stands for the last lap for that and it happened right in front of us. <laughs> it was like the craziest thing because you thought he was going to win, but then hit the wall and then oh, Dan Weldon won that one. So that was probably the craziest finish that I remember. What's one thing about working with an Indy car that most people wouldn't realize? I think probably just the amount of people that are involved, it really is like a, a huge group effort. Um, there's hundreds of people that are involved in the design of the IndyCar. Um, it takes a long time, it's several years from when the series says, hey, we want this car to when it will actually hit the track from the first race. So just the amount of time and people that are behind the project. Who is your all-time favorite driver? My all-time favorite is probably Jim Clark, who raced for Lotus in the 1960s. Um, the first rear engine winner, I believe. So he was always like, I always thought that was super cool. And I was always a big Colin Chapman fan as well as a designer. Um, so yeah, probably my all time favorite for that one. Okay, last thing. What are you looking forward to most about this 2025 Indy 500? I think always the highlight of the month is just the build up to the green flag. So when you're standing there on the grid and they're doing the anthem and they're doing back home again in Indiana, to me, that's like the most incredible part of the race, honestly, because <laughs> you're standing there and all, there's all these people around. It's a completely unreal feeling.